This is the site for the proposed asphalt plant. Officials with a company called 189 Strikers Associates LLC chose this location in Lopakong's industrial area because it's close to Route 78, 22, and other busy roadways. Neighboring businesses include a cement manufacturer and plastics facility, but less than a mile away are homes, a school, and a cell tower that is home to a pair of ospreys, similar to the ones seen in this video. The situation is, is that in this type of circumstance, 850 feet from over the potential of over 1,000 trucks, which is over 2,000 individual episodes per week, I think could be detrimental to these birds. But company spokesperson David D. Girolamo says the birds have survived for years in this industrial area, so they should be able to adapt. And he says the company will comply with strict DEP regulations. As regulated by the NJDEP and as a permitted use, we have to operate in, in such a manner that everything happens on our property. Uh, there can be no objectionable noises or odors emitting from our property at the property line, uh, as stated by NJDEP. This is a facility that's going to be emitting known carcinogens. Whether or not those emissions are within allowable limits, that's a, an acceptable risk that we don't necessarily agree with. D. Girolamo says experts, including former DEP Commissioner Bradley Campbell, have tried to allay the fears of opponents, but he says people are still misinformed, especially about the number of trucks that will be coming in and out of this proposed facility. The reality is, at any given day, there could be no more than 15 trucks coming in and out of this facility. But that's not on a continuous basis. That's not how this, this business works. D. Girolamo points out there's another asphalt plant nearby, but opponents say that's a much smaller operation called a batch facility. A batch plant meaning they make to order a batch of asphalt. They are not producing 3,000 tons of asphalt on a 24-hour, 7-day-a-week basis. Lopak Kong's planning board approved the project back in September, but litigation led to changes in the local zoning ordinance, so the application is being reviewed again. Meanwhile, the opposition continues to mobilize. They staged a rally in town, and several hundred people attended a recent planning board meeting. Officials from the neighboring community of Greenwich Township are also fighting this project. The township's land use attorney claims Lopakong's ordinance permitting asphalt plants isn't valid because Lopakong didn't receive authorization from the New Jersey Highlands Council. Lopakong's clerk says that's not true. Meanwhile, the Highlands Council is looking into this matter. T. Girolamo says the plant will bring tax revenue to the town. The Lopakong Planning Board has the final say. It's scheduled to vote on the project tonight. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Lopakong.